And start off lying on your stomach, sort of like a shavasana, but flipped upside down. So you are completely released in the body in order to focus all of your attention on your breath. Be comfortable in the legs, soften in the shoulders. And then start to find your ujjayi breath if that is something you're used to working with, sealing the lips gently closed without clenching the teeth and breathing in and out through your nose. Use the floor beneath you as feedback. As you breathe in, feel the belly press down in through the floor. On your exhales, you might feel the low belly gently lift away from the floor. Keep your breath smooth and peaceful, and then make your way up into Sphinx Pose. Elbows right underneath the shoulders, collarbones wide. Legs strong behind you, inner thighs reaching up towards the ceiling, tops of the feet pressing down, and then slink into your shoulder girdle. As you exhale, inhale, press through the elbows to lift the ribs away from the floor. And then again like that, as you exhale, sort of slump down towards the floor, and then inhale, press the elbows through the floor. Exhale, slump down, sort of what not to do, and then inhale, push the floor away, lift the ribs. Exhale. Inhale, press forward. And then try to remember this feeling of pressing the elbows down into the floor to help you lift and lengthen through the spine. And then we'll show a different angle as we come onto the right elbow, right underneath your right shoulder, onto your right hip, and then step the left foot down into the mat. And then sort of do the wrong thing again, slump down into the right shoulder, which I see a lot here, and instead press down through the right elbow to lift the right ribs away from the floor, lengthen through the side body, and reach your left arm overhead as if you were in extended side angle. Remember how this feels when we do it later on in the actual extended side angle. And then step into the left foot, lift the right hip away from the floor on the inhale, exhale, lower it back down. Inhale, lift the right hip away for a modified side plank. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, press down through the right elbow to integrate right shoulder blade on the back as you lift the hips. Exhale, slowly lower down. Then roll onto your back. Bring the elbows right underneath the shoulders again. And then notice here, you could slump the chest down towards the floor, shrug the shoulders by the ears. But instead, press the elbows down, lift the chest away from the floor, lift the back ribs away from the floor. As you inhale, reach the legs up towards the ceiling. Exhale, slowly lower them down to hover. Inhale, knees in, stretch legs up to the sky. Exhale, pin the navel towards the spine. Keep your chest lifting as you lower the legs down to hover, starting to warm in the abdominals. Inhale, knees in, stretch the legs up. Exhale, Hollow the belly as you lower the legs, lifting the chest the whole time. You can stay on your elbows or for a little more challenge. You'll lift the hands completely away from the floor as you inhale, lift the legs up. Exhale, back through half Navasana, hovering. Inhale, hug the knees in, stretch the legs up high. As you exhale, scoop the belly to lower the legs and the back towards the floor just to hover. Inhale, hug the knees in, stretch the legs. Exhale, slowly lower down towards the floor. Inhale, knees in, straighten the legs up high. Exhale, scoop the belly as you lower down nice and slow to hover. And then from here, just to stretch out the abdominals, not a huge back bend coming into half wheel or bridge pose with the hips, stretch the belly, stretch the ribs, slowly lower all the way down to the mat. And then inhale, lift the hips, stretch through the belly. As you exhale, lower down nice and slow. Again, inhale, lift the hips, half wheel. Exhale, slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time. And then carefully make your way back up onto the elbows and you'll roll into the left side this time. Prop the left elbow right underneath the left shoulder and then start off with a slump, what not to do. And then press elbow into the floor to integrate left shoulder blade on the back. Lift the left ribs away from the floor. 
and then reach your right arm overhead as if you were in extended side angle. Remember how this feels when we do extended side angle later on. Press elbow down to lift the ribs away from the floor and lengthen the spine. And then for our modified forearm side plank, lifting up on the inhale, lowering down on the exhale. Inhale, lift the hips, press the elbow down strongly, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift, soften the shoulder blade on the back, exhale to lower. And then come forward, plant the elbows right under the shoulders for Sphinx Pose once again. Lift the low belly, strong legs, wide collarbones. You'll find forearm plank here. On the exhale, gently round towards the cat spine as you bend the knees. On the inhale, reach the chest forward to forearm plank. Exhale, curl, scoop the belly. Inhale, forearm plank. Exhale, curl, chin to chest. Inhale, plank. Exhale, curl. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, curling. Inhale, stretch forward plank. Lower your knees. Seat towards the heels. Come high on the fingertips to stretch out through the spine. And then flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Release the belly. Take a couple breaths. Plant the hands on the shoulder blades. Walk the elbows maybe a little further forward to get a nice stretch in the armpits. And then you'll slowly round up to sit with the eyes closed. Hug the inner ankles towards one another. Press the palms together at the center of the chest. And then lower your elbow points down to the floor. Press the elbows down into an imaginary surface to lift the whole rib cage up and out of the hips, especially the back of the ribs. We'll start with just one ohm together. Take a big breath in. Uh... Chest rise and fall into the thumbs as you fill up and empty out of breath. And let the forehead bow down towards the fingers on the exhale, stretching the back of the neck open wide. Carefully let the eyes open, place the hands forward well, right under the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath you and lift the hips up and back for Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. And then Apply the same principle here as you did when you were pressing the elbows through the floor. This time you're pressing the palms down through the floor to help you lift the hips up and back. And then on the inhale, lift the heels, lift the hips up high. Exhale, slowly melt the heels down towards the floor. And then bend your knees. Try to reach your seat up and back away from your heart. Keep drawing the low ribs in. You can see I'm letting mine protrude out a little too much. Low ribs integrate into the front body. Find more length in the spine. And keep breathing here. On your next inhale, roll forward into plank pose leading with the crown of the head. And don't slump in the shoulder girdle. Good. Keep breathing here, legs working as strong as the arms. And then on your exhale, lower the knees. And then in one straight line, lower the torso down towards the floor. Good. On the inhale, Half Shalabhasana. Draw the shoulder blades towards one another. Inner shoulder blades down the back towards the hip. Front and back of the neck equal length. Keep your chest lifting and plant your elbows right under the shoulders for our Sphinx pose again. Tuck the toes under. Find your forearm plank here. Chest reaching forward. Lower the knees on the exhale. Seat comes to the heels for your child's pose. On the inhale, all fours. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower knees. Hug the elbows in towards the ribs as you lower down. Inhale, Shalabhasana, press the palms up towards the ceiling. Back of the neck stays long. Plant your elbows under the shoulders like Sphinx Pose. 
Low belly lifting, elbows pressing down through the floor to help lift you up into dolphin pose this time. So it's pretty early for this. This might not be your fullest dolphin pose. We want to start opening up in the armpits. Walk the feet closer towards the elbows and keep lifting the seat high. Press down through the elbows to lift the seat up high. Good. Down through the elbows to walk the feet back into forearm plank. Strong belly here. And take one more inhale, then lower the knees, seat to heels, child pose. Relax in the shoulders, relax the belly. On your next inhale, all fours. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Take a very slow walk up to the top of the mat. Try to use the low belly to initiate each step scooping out the belly to bend the knee as you step one foot forward at a time. We'll meet in Uttanasana, forward fold. Now bend your knees here if you feel any pulling or any strain in the low back. Good. Don't be afraid to let the knees bend. You'll still get the benefit of opening the hamstrings and just protecting your back in the process if you let the knees bend. Head hangs heavy. Breath is full. Inhale to lift halfway up. Exhale, fold over to your legs. Inhale, round up to stand, sweeping the arms up and overhead. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to the heart. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, let the knees bend. Inhale, reach up through the middle, lift the ribs out of the hips. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, step your left leg back behind you, low lunge. Tap your back knee down, parallel your back shin with the back edge of your mat. And then find extended side angle with the right arm. So your right elbow pressing down into the top of the right thigh. And apply the principles we learned here in Sphinx. Press the forearm and elbow down into your right thigh to lift your right ribs away from the thigh. Left arm is as long as you can make it. Pinky side of the hand spiraling down. Next exhale, come towards a low lunge shape. Keep the knee down behind you. On the inhale, lift the chest, sink the hips forward. Exhale, half Hanuman, reach the seat back towards the left heel. Inhale, step into the right foot, lift the heart, bend the knee. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman, right hip crease back, heart forward. Inhale, lunging forward, lift the chest. Exhale, seat towards the left heel. And then stay here a couple breaths, reaching your right hip crease back, chest forward. And think length in the spine instead of rounding the forehead towards the right shin. On your next breath in, find low lunge, tuck the back toes under. Inhale, high lunge, reach the arms by the ears. And keep your tailbone long. You might need to bend the back knee in order to keep your tailbone long without sticking your behind out behind you. Open for a twist on the exhale to the right. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, open right to a twist. Inhale, sweep arms up by the ears. Exhale, twist from the belly as you open to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms up by the ears. Exhale, plant the hands to frame the front foot. Inhale, plank pose, strong legs and belly. Exhale, shift forward as you lower down, elbows over wrists. Inhale, untuck the toes. Baby cobra as you pull the heart forward and up. On your exhale, tuck the toes under. Downward facing dog through bent knees. Lower your left elbow under the left shoulder, right elbow under the right shoulder, and walk your feet in closer towards your elbows. Press your elbows down to lift the seat up higher. Maybe you can roll all the way onto the toenail side of your toes. Lift the heels up higher than you think you can. Lift the seat and then lower the heels on your inhale. Exhale, press the elbows down, lift your seat up higher. 
Inhale, lower the heels. Try to straighten both arms at the same time, coming into Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, keep your hips square. Then as you exhale, open the hips and bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the leg, square the hip. <clears throat> as you exhale, right knee towards your nose, round the back like a cat spine. Step your right foot forward between your hands, low lunge. Left knee towards the forehead and slowly round up to stand, interlacing hands under the left thigh. Extend your left leg towards the front of the room, but keep the spine long so it might not come all the way straight just yet. Collarbones wide. Next time you exhale, left heel towards your seat to find a quad stretch. Reach one or both hands back to find the top of the left foot. Low belly lifting, tailbone long. Fronts of hips lifting, collarbones lifting. On your inhale, the left toes like an arrow shoot up towards the ceiling for standing split. So try to remove ego here. It's very tempting to open up the hip to hike the leg up higher. But in standing split, practice keeping the hips very square. The leg will probably be much lower. Inner left thigh up towards the ceiling. Next time you exhale, step your left foot down to meet your right. Shake out the legs a little here. On the inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold into your leg. Inhale, slowly round up to stand, sweeping arms up and overhead at the top. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift the backs of the ribs higher. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, back through the middle. Exhale, twist open to the right. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Release the neck at the bottom. Inhale. Step your right leg back behind you for a low lunge. Tap your back knee down. Parallel your right shin with the back edge of your mat. Again, finding extended side angle in the left arm. Mm -hmm. Right arm comes up and over the ear. Now press your right forearm and elbow into the top, sorry, your left forearm and elbow into the top of the left thigh to lift your left ribs up and away from the leg. Lengthen through the spine, left side body longer. Next time you exhale, hands frame the front foot. Keep the back knee down. On the inhale, shift the hips forward, lift the chest. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, left hip crease back. Inhale, shift forward, lift the heart, long spine. Exhale, shift the seat back as you reach forward in the chest. Inhale, lift the chest, rock forward. Exhale, shift back, left hip crease back, and then stay a couple breaths. Flex the left foot strongly, wake up the left thigh muscles, heart reaching towards the left toes. Calm breath, relaxed jaw. Move to a low lunge on your Inhale, sweep the arms up by the ears for a high lunge. Again, keep the tailbone long. You might need to bend the back knee in order to help. As you exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, reach the arms up by the ears. Exhale, twist right from the belly to the left. Inhale, sweep arms up by the ears, lift the collarbones. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, sweep the arms by the ears. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Inhale, plank pose as you stretch your left leg back, strong belly. Exhale, lower half or all the way down. Inhale, any size back bend, keeping the legs strong, low belly lifting. On your exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lower your right elbow under the right shoulder, left under the left for dolphin pose. Walk the feet in. Mm -hmm. Press through the elbows to lift your seat up high on the exhale. Inhale, lower the heels down. Exhale, lift the heels, lift the seat. 
Inhale, lower the heels down. Exhale, lift the seat up higher as you press the elbows. Inhale, lower the heels. Walk the feet back just a little. And then all the way into a forearm plank on this side. Lower your knees. And then walk the feet back in, back to dolphin. Straighten through both arms at the same time if you can. Down dog. Ground yourself here. Find your breath as you inhale, left leg back and up, hip square. Exhale, open the hip and bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the leg, square the hip. Exhale, knee towards the nose as you step the left foot gently forward between the hands. On your next exhale, right knee towards the forehead, round up to stand, interlace hands behind your right thigh. Stay here or start to straighten the right leg forward. Keep the chest lifting strong in the left leg. Soft eyes, soft breath. Right heel towards your seat for the quad stretch. Maybe just the right hand or both hands come to find the top of the right foot. Bring your knees in line with one another as you lift the low belly. Lift the fronts of the hips and lengthen the tailbone. Standing split, your right toes shoot like an arrow up towards the ceiling. Relax the neck here. Inner right thigh up towards the ceiling. Diligently keeping the hips square. And on the exhale, step your right foot down to meet your left. Release the neck. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly round up, soft knees. Sweep the arms up and overhead at the top. Exhale, palms to the chest, Tadasana. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, open twist to the right. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, sweep arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, step the left leg back, low lunge. Pivot your back heel down, extended side angle. Press the forearm into the thigh to lift the ribs. And on your exhale, low lunge. Tap the back knee down. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, half Hanuman. Seat towards the heel one time. Inhale, step into your right foot, high lunge, sweep the arms up by the ears. On the exhale, twist open to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms up by the ears. Exhale, low lunge, hands frame the front foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower half or all the way. Inhale, urdhva mukha or any size back bend. Exhale, use the belly to pike the hips up and back. Dolphin pose, lower one elbow at a time, walk the feet in towards the elbows, lift as high as you can onto the toes and straighten both arms at the same time, down dog, inhale your right leg back and up, exhale open the hip and bend the knee, inhale straighten the leg square the hip, exhale knee towards the nose, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Left knee comes in. Yogi toe lock the left big toe or interlace hands underneath the thigh. Breathing here, lifting the chest. On your exhale, heel towards the seat. Find the top of the left foot for the quad stretch. Shoot the left toes up towards the ceiling for standing split. Hips very square. Just an inhale here. And as you exhale, step your left foot down to meet your right. Shake your head softly, yes, no. A little bend in the knees. As you inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold back into the legs. Inhale, slowly round or hinge up to stand, sweeping arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, palms to the center of the chest, Tadasana. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. 
Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, twist open to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms up by the ears. As you exhale, dive forward over your legs, keeping the weight in the fronts of the feet. Inhale, step your right leg behind you to a low lunge. Exhale, open up, extended side angle. Press the left elbow into the thigh, soften the shoulder blade onto the back. Next, exhale, low lunge, tap the back knee down. Inhale to lift the chest, lift the low belly. As you exhale, half Hanuman, reach the seat back towards the right heel. Inhale back to low lunge, all the way up to a high lunge. Lengthen the tailbone as you exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, reach the arms up by the ears. Exhale, plant your hands. Without a sound, left leg back into strong plank pose. As you exhale, lower half or all the way down, bringing the knees down to help if you need. Inhaling for any size back bend. Exhale, use the belly to pike the hips into down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath here. The next inhale, left leg lifts. As you exhale, open the hips and bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the legs, square the hips, scoop the belly, draw the knee towards the nose, and step the left foot forward. Good. Hug the right knee in, and then yogi toe lock the right big toe as you come to stand. Extend the leg forward. Uttita hasta padagustasana in. Next time you exhale, right heel towards the seat. Reach behind you to find the top of the foot for a quad stretch. Right toes shoot up to the ceiling like an arrow for your standing split. Fold your torso into the left leg. And maybe here you take a couple hops if you'd like, if you did so on the other side. Or you step the right foot down to meet the left. Set the right foot down to meet the left, meeting in a forward fold. Torso hangs heavy, a little bend in the knees. Inhale to lengthen the spine halfway up. Exhale, fold into your legs. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Fold forward over your long legs. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, either hop or step the feet back through Chaturanga. Inhale, any size back bend, strong legs, lifting in the low belly. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe here in your down dog, lifting the hips up and away from the heart. Maybe close your eyes, find the breath in the belly, the ribs, the chest. Just about one more breath here. And then inhale, lift the heels and hips. And then either hop or step the feet forward. Inhale to come halfway in. Exhale, fold back into the leg. Inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press the palms together. Exhale, dive forward over your leg. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, hop or step the feet back. Your choice of vinyasa here. Or if you need a break, some softening, come into child's pose or wait in down dog. We'll always meet in downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale. And you inhale, lift the heels and hips. At the bottom of the exhale, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale to lift halfway up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, hop or step the feet back, your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On your inhale, lift heels and hips. Hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, palms to chest. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink the weight into the heels. Imagine you're pulling your feet away from one another. And then as you exhale, next twist to the right, hooking the left elbow outside the right thigh. Pull your left hip crease back. And draw the heart and ribs forward and out of the hips. A long spine, leaning back. Keep breathing here. On the inhale, lift back up through Utkatasana. Exhale, twisting to your left. Palms press strongly together. On this side, right hip crease actively working back behind you to keep the hips even. Remember, imagine you're pulling the feet away from one another. On the inhale, lift back into Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. And then you may need to move back a little bit on your mat, coming in towards crow pose if you'd like, or you can stay in the forward fold if you don't want to take the arm balance. Wherever you are, keep the breath full and calm. And then as you exhale next, we will meet in a forward fold at the top of the mat. Relax the head, the neck, the arms. And on your inhale, come halfway up. On the exhale, either hop or step the feet back. Optional vinyasa here. We will meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up behind you. Exhale, step the right foot to the right thumb. Inhale, warrior one. Okay. Keep working right hip crease back, left hip forward as you inhale straight in the front leg and open up into warrior two, adjusting the feet as need be. Inhale straight in the front leg as you exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. With a big inhale here. On the exhale, square off the hips and then go through a vinyasa if you'd like. Or go right into down dog and breathe. Inhale, left leg up behind you. As you exhale, use the belly to step the left foot to the left thumb. Inhale, warrior one. Soften the tops of the shoulders as you exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, open up, warrior two. On your inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, fold, triangle pose, trikonasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, square off the hips. Again, we'll meet in down dog or you can vinyasa with breath. Settle in in your down dog, find the breath. Relax the jaw, the forehead. As you inhale, lift the hips and heels. Bottom of the exhale, hop or step the feet forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold into the leg. Inhale, round up Utkatasana. 
Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, hop or step the feet back through a vinyasa if you would like. Inhale, with the back bend. Exhale to down. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. Exhale, step it to the right thumb. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, here, into warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg as you exhale, triangle pose. Square off the hips, vinyasa, or right to down dog. Inhale, left leg up, step it to the left thumb, warrior one on the breath in, warrior two as you breathe out. Inhale, straighten the front leg, and exhale into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Square your hips, either vinyasa or right to downward facing dog. Breathe here. On your inhale, lift the heels and hips, and exhale, lower the heels back down. And inhale, lift heels and hips. On the exhale, hop or step the feet up. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, through the middle. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale, reach up, press the palms. Exhale, open to the left. Keep going until you find Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand to a block or the floor. Left leg will lift up behind you. Keep the gaze down if you're struggling with the balance. The left leg as strong as the right leg, flexing the left foot vigorously. Next time you inhale, look down. Bend your right knee and reach the foot back into extended side angle. The left arm can... Come into a half bind. If you'd like a full bind, you can go for it. Try to keep your right knee stacked on top of the right ankle. And keep the breath full yet peaceful. Back leg strong. The next exhale. Parallel your right foot with the left and come into a wide-legged forward fold. You're welcome to come into a headstand from here using the Shirshasana one arm. So you'll interlace the hands behind the head. Press the elbows down into the floor to soften the shoulders away from the ears. You're welcome to just stay in the forward fold and breathe as well. If you've come up, start to make your way back down. Try to land heels first. Before the feet land, press the elbows down into the floor to lift the seat high. And as you inhale, come halfway up, hands under the shoulders. On your exhale, walk the hands towards your right foot. Tap your back knee down. Lengthen through the chest. Then as you exhale, release the seat back towards the left heel for half Hanuman. You can stay there. If you'd like to come into the full Hanuman, be very diligent with the hips. It's very easy to let the left hip open and slide right down into that split, but protect your low back, protect your sacrum by squaring the hips as best you can. Right hip crease back, left hip forward. Try to remove ego from the equation. It does not matter how low you go, but... You do want to be mindful and approach the body with kindness, protecting 
the low back as you go. Next time you exhale, slowly come out of your full or half Hanuman, come back to a low lunge with the back knee down. I like to round my forehead into the front knee and then find a high lunge. Again, be mindful of the squareness of the hips. Inhale to reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist open to the right. Cross your left arm outside of the right thigh and keep the arms open to a T. Now apply the same principle here. If you can press your left hand into a block or the floor, use that to help you drag the left shoulder blade down and into the back. Your right arm can come back for a half bind. You can come into a full bind if you feel ready. Back leg is strong. Next exhale, hands frame the front foot. Left knee comes in towards the nose. This time your right hand will cross over and grab the outer left foot for a rotated version of Uttita Hasta Paragasasana. Maybe the left arm reaches towards the back of the room. Your eyes might follow your left hand. Your hips as square as possible. And then start to turn your gaze back forward. Kick your left heel towards your seat. Grab the top of the foot for the quad stretch. Tailbone long, low belly lifting. Left toes up to the ceiling like an arrow. Standing split. Now you're welcome to stay here. If you want to try a couple hops towards handstand, you can go for it. Keep breathing wherever you are. And we'll meet in a forward fold. Stay as long as you'd like. Make sure you're at the top of your mat, calm in the breath, calm in the heart. Maybe shake your head yes and no, releasing the neck. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale, round up nice and slow, all the way to stand. Next breath in, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist open to the right. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, back through the middle. Exhale, twist open to the right, and then keep going. Left hand comes down to the floor or a block. Right leg lifts up and back. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana pose. Be sure to use a block under the left hand if the floor is far away. Both legs are active, awake, strong, quads awake, right foot flexing strongly. Left shoulder blade integrated into the back. And then start to look down towards the floor. Bend your left knee. Reach your right foot back. Extended side angle. You can stick with your regular extended side angle or come into a half or full bind if you'd like. Once you arrive, think of spinning your left rib cage up and around to meet the right. Collarbones open wide, shoulders soft away from the ears. Back leg working as hard as the front leg. The next time you exhale, hands frame the front foot. Pivot your Back heel up and lower the back knee down. Maybe in a low lunge with the back knee down. And then reach the seat back for either a half Hanuman or come into the full expression of the pose. Once again, being very mindful of the hips, even if it means you don't go as low as you can. So left hip crease back, right hip point forward. Lifting the chest away from the floor. You can have your hands on blocks. You could put a blanket right underneath your left thigh. Right hip forward, left hip back, tailbone long and breath calm. Just about one more breath. Lengthening the tailbone, lifting the low belly. And then they'll slowly make your way out of it by tucking the back toes under. Bow your forehead into the left knee. Just take a moment to reset. And then we'll come into a high lunge, mindful of the hips, lift the arms up, and then as you exhale, twist open to your left. 
Right arm crosses outside of the left thigh for your twist. Back leg stays very active. Left hip crease moving back. You're welcome to take half or a full bind. Breathing wherever you are, making the back leg strong, low belly peeling away from the left thigh. On your next exhale, low lunge, and then flip your left toes forward to parallel with your right foot. Hang forward over the legs. Keep your thigh muscles active, especially if you're really flexible. Walk the hands forward to the left foot for a low lunge. As you exhale, right knee towards your nose. Left hand grabs the outer right foot as you come up to stand, extending the right leg forward. I like to bring my right hand behind the back to my left hip for a moment just to square off the hips. And then right hand reaches back behind you. Maybe the gaze turns to find the right hand. Strong in the left leg. Turn the gaze back forward, release the foot, right heel towards the seat, grab the top of the foot for your quad stretch, and then right toes up towards the ceiling, standing split. Again, you either stay here, or maybe you pour the weight into the hands for some handstand practice. Breathing wherever you are. And we'll eventually meet in a forward fold. Release the wrists, release the neck. Let the knees bend a little here, making this a softer forward fold. On your inhale, come back into a child's pose, seat to heels, just step the feet back, or if you want one final vinyasa, you can take it. Release the tongue to release the brain, release the jaw to release the hips, release the shoulders to release the heart. On your breath in, you'll slowly round up to sit on the heels. We're going to take an inversion practice. Find a wall if you're not comfortable with forearm stand at the center of the room. And then apply the elbow principle here. So press the elbows down strongly into the floor to release the shoulders away from the ears. You kick up one leg at a time. Make sure you try both legs. And then seal the inner thighs towards one another. Inner thighs and inner calves together. Draw the front ribs in. Strong legs. And take a break at any point in a child's pose. Remember that when you try the forearm stand, you want to press the elbows down into the floor, keeping them shoulder width apart. We will meet lying on our backs, knees bent, plant the feet on the mat in front of you. Make sure you can just barely graze the heels with your fingertips. Feet parallel and hip width apart. As you breathe in, lift the hips for bridge pose. And instead of puffing the belly up towards the ceiling, think of puffing the chest up towards the chin. Making the back, the low back long, tailbone long, the upper back lifting and opening through the heart. You can interlace hands underneath you. Press the arms strongly down through the floor. Next time you exhale, 
Slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Widen your feet, let the inner knees touch, press the palms together. And take three nourishing breaths here. And you're welcome to stick with half wheel or you can join me for a full wheel. Feet stay parallel, breath is strong. If you're coming to full wheel, release the neck. Hear your breath. And slowly begin to make your way back down to the mat. And circle the wrists a couple times. And hug your knees in towards your chest. I'm going to round my forehead up towards the knees. And you'll rock up to sit for Ardha Madhyandrasana, seated spinal twist. Sit up on a blanket or a block if you need. Both sit bones evenly rooting down to the floor. As you exhale, you'll twist to the right. Right foot stepping outside the left. Try to seal the whole sole of the foot down. You might take a half or a full bind. But keep the spine long. Each inhale lengthening. Each exhale maybe a little more of a twist. And then take a counter pose on your next exhale. Bow the forehead down towards the floor. Come up onto your knees to prepare for Gomukhasana leg. So crossing the left knee behind the right. Inhale, find cow. Exhale, round through cat. And then make your place your seat back down in between the feet. So you'll have to widen the shins away from one another. And then make sure the feet are equidistant from your hips. You can stay just like this. Or as you exhale, you can fold forward over the leg. Maybe the chin hooks around your knees. Relax the breath. Breathe into the outer hips. And the next time you breathe in, round up to sit. Place your fingertips behind you and then lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Rock back forward into your crossed all fours. Keep the legs crossed coming into downward facing dog. Now uncross your legs. And come back into your seated spinal twist. This time the left foot crosses outside the right thigh. And you'll twist to the left. Left fingertips behind you. Lengthen through the spine. Lift the ribs up and out of the hips on the inhale. On the exhales, twisting just from the belly. Both hips stay firmly planted. And both sides of the seat stay firmly planted, I should say, down on your block or than that. Next exhale, take a counter pose, bow the forehead down towards the floor. Then come into your cross-legged all fours, left knee in front of the right. Cross them as best you can on the inhale, cow. Exhale through cat, widen the feet and send your seat down to the floor in between your feet. Again, sitting up on a block, a blanket, a pillow, if need be. And as you inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale to fold forward over the legs, or you stay in an upright seated position. Wherever you are, breathing calmly. And 
On your inhale, make your way back up to sit, fingertips behind you, lift the chest, lengthen the spine. Then walk the hands back forward, cross-legged, all fours, tuck the toes, cross-legged, down dog. And uncross the legs, lower your knees, lower your seat off to one side, and then we'll find Uta Nishta Konasana, a wide-legged forward fold. So keep your legs active here as you start to fold forward inside of the legs, keep the kneecaps the toes looking up towards the ceiling. Don't let them sink down with you. You can place a bolster or a couple blocks or blankets underneath the torso. And breathe here. Arms can reach straight forward. Bend the elbows out to the side. So here is where the tape ran out. You can stay in that forward fold for about five or so more breaths. Then afterwards, if you want to take any inversion or a forward fold of another type, you can go ahead and do that for about two minutes or so, and then you'll take at least five minutes in Shavasana on your own. And then coming out of your Shavasana, you'll take your time to sit back up in an easy, comfortable seat. When you do arrive in your Shavasana, set up as well as you would for any other pose. Let go of the Ujjayi breath, palms face up to the ceiling, outer legs heavy. And thank you so much for taking this class today. Namaste.